Hello there, Seb here from Motorhome Dealer Group. Welcome to this video guide on the Schult LT98BC control panel uh, that you see here in front of me. This particular one is Heimer branded. There is the model number that I'm referring to just there. And in this video guide, I'm gonna show you how to operate the control panel, how to bring up the various bits of information it can tell us and how to interpret that information. And hopefully by the end of the video, you'll feel comfortable using this control panel in your leisure vehicle. Now, this video is not going to cover any troubleshooting or problem solving. If you are experiencing issues with your control panel, please uh, consult your instruction manuals or seek the help of a technical professional this video really is just a quick start guide to get you up and running using this control panel in your leisure vehicle. So let's get started. So to start off with, we have the panel here, as you can see, there is a sort of display area here in the center. We have a large rotary encoder, which has a push button function. And this particular panel also has an analog clock inset there on the left. To turn the control panel on, we're going to press the rotary encoder in. And in doing so, you can see we have the power symbol has illuminated in green there. And you may have noticed the background lighting has come on as well. The vehicle is now powered up. So the leisure battery power is now on. And uh, you may also notice we have an illuminated yellow symbol just here. This shows at the back of the motorhome here, we have the hookup symbol. And this is indicating that we are hooked up to mains electric. And now if I was to turn the rotary encoder, we're going to highlight several icons in the motorhome image here, which will tell us what information it's showing us. So firstly, if I move the rotary encoder, it doesn't matter either way, left or right, we are going to highlight here the battery in the rear of the motorhome. So this is the leisure battery, and it's showing us the voltage on this scale here on the left for that battery. So our leisure battery there uh, is being shown. Next up to the right, we have our fresh water tank and it would show us our water tank level on this scale here. But the tank is currently empty. This vehicle is drained down. And that's also why we have a low water tank alarm uh, indicating just there. Moving one more click to the right, we have our wastewater tank, this symbol here. Uh, by the way, you can tell these symbols apart because we have the inlet at the top on the fresh tank and the water is clear. And on this one, the water is not clear and we have the outlet at the bottom. So this is the waste tank. But again, we would check the level just here on this gauge. Both tanks are dry and empty in this particular vehicle at the moment. Uh, if the waste tank level gets high, then the alarm will come on for this tank as well. And then lastly, one more click to the right, we have a battery in the front of the vehicle. So this is the vehicle battery and we're now checking the voltage for that battery just there on the left scale again. And uh, you will also see this alarm flag for battery voltage, uh, uh, battery voltage is getting low as well. And that's basically it. That's how to use the control panel. To turn the vehicle off again, all we do is press the rotary encoder in and the vehicle is now uh, powered down because the power symbol has extinguished. And that's how to use the Schult LT98BC control panel. I hope you found this video useful. I'm Sev and thank you very much for watching.